Hello, I'm Evan. I'm Dom. And we're here at 101 Sports doing some quick bracketology for y'all. So we're going to jump in right to it, starting with the Midwest section. What do you have going off? Okay, well, obviously no number one seed's ever lost in the first round. I think we can pencil Kansas in here. Um, I, mean, I don't really no, – no argument uh, there. Miami, Michigan State. Miami's a good team, but Tom Izzo, he knows what he's doing. i got to give it to uh, Michigan State. I mean, that's definitely going to be a good game. I mean, Tom Izzo is definitely a great coach, especially when it mm -hmm. comes to tournament time. Iowa State, Nevada. But, you know. Nevada's got some offensive firepower, but Iowa State, they've got some good ball handlers. Monte Morris is real good. I like them moving on in this matchup. Uh, Purdue, Vermont. This one was tough. Vermont is a good team, hot shooting team. But that being said, Caleb Swanigan, Purdue, I think they move on. Uh, Creighton, URI. Here I have my first upset. Creighton's not really been the same team since they lost their starting point guard out for a season ending injury. You know, University of Rhode Island had some big expectations coming in. I think they move on in this one in a little bit of an upset. Sorry, Creighton fans. <laughs> uh, Oregon, Iowa. Oregon lost uh, when they're one of their better players recently, but I think they move on past Iona. Michigan, Oklahoma State. I'm once again picking the lower seed here, Oklahoma State. Michigan has been a little bit hot recently, so this could come back to bite me, but. I mean, they've been an inconsistent team this year. I know I've liked what I've seen from Oklahoma State. And then Louisville, Jacksonville. You know, Louisville's got fantastic defense. I think this yeah. is a pretty easy win for them. Easy win there. Mm -hmm. So moving down yeah. to the south, once oh, again, I mean, UNC. I think it's pretty easy. Uh, pretty easy there. No, yeah, I mean, go Seton no Hall one seed. In this one. I think it'll be a close game, but I just I like Seton Hall just a little bit better. I think they pull it off in the end. Uh, Minnesota, mid-Tennessee. Going with another bit, little bit of an upset here. I'm taking Mid-Tennessee. I think they've got the shooters to make Minnesota pay. And uh, this is also Minnesota's first time in the tournament a little bit, so we'll see how the nerves go. Butler, Winthrop. Butler's moved themselves out of the Cinderella realm into the power realm. They're moving on here. Especially with their two uh, wins over Villanova earlier this year. Yeah, exactly. They're definitely they're, they're, they're going to be a good team, and they're going to yeah. definitely be tough they to be knock off. Now, used to be Cinderella, yeah. but now they're here to play. Uh, since Kansas State University. Kansas State played well the other day, beating... Uh, Wake Forest, but since his D is too good, they move on. UCLA, Kent State, the Lonzo Ball show continues <laughs> for now. Oh. Then uh, Dayton, Wichita State, I feel bad for Dayton. They were probably a little low seeded, and they wound up with a team that's even more low seed. I don't know why Wichita State's a 10, but uh, they're moving on. Sorry, Dayton, you should have gotten a better matchup. <laughs> and then, last one, I think, Port North Kentucky, but. I mean, we know the King Kentucky. Yeah, it. it's Kentucky. Playing their brothers. But. Do you want to give us your first round matchups now? All right, go running through first round matchups like you've stated. You know, no, uh, number one has lost. So I'm definitely going to pick the defending champs, Villanova. Seems like a safe bet. Villanova, you know, Hart, great team. They're moving on over, uh, you know, Mount St. Mary's. Now, Wisconsin, Virginia Tech, interesting matchup. Wisconsin definitely has more experience than Virginia Tech come tournament time. I would have picked Virginia Tech if Chris Clark was healthy. You know, he's a big two-way player, big, good rebounder, good scorer, average a double-double. But he's hurt, so Wisconsin moves on. Wisconsin's been a little inconsistent, but, yeah, I would say that they're probably – I mean, without, without Chris Clark, there's no – there's uh, have the Yeah, have the experience. Now, UVA over UNCW. Now, UNCW can score, but UVA has that great defense. Yeah. I'm taking UVA, I, shutting down UNC's W offensive yeah, ability. Defense, um, you know, they're a great team. Now, Florida, East Tennessee State University – Interesting matchup. Eastern Tennessee uh, can score mm -hmm. the ball like no one's business, but I feel like Florida is just a lot longer, a lot faster, and their defense is going to neutralize that. They were not expecting to be this good. Yeah. Definitely had a big year. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, Southern Methodist, SMU, they have a good team so far. Now, really, I, I'm not agreeing with the sixth seed, but I'm putting them in. They were definitely okay, definitely of, should be higher. Regardless of who they're playing, I think. Re they're regard, playing. Regardless, they, yeah. they shoot the ball, rebound the ball. They're moving on. Um, now, Baylor, moving on. They've I feel that one. They've been consistent recently, but, yeah, they got the talent disparity. You know? Baylor over New Mexico State, not really much of a question there. Got to go with Baylor. Yeah. Now, South Carolina Marquette, Ooh. interesting matchup here. Ooh. Marquette can score. South Carolina plays defense. Um, it was tough. I'm going to go South Carolina in this okay. one with no upset in this round. I, I went Marquette, but I can see how it's going to be a close game, so I can see how you go. It's South probably going to bite me, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, Duke-Troy, I mean, Duke's been hot. 
they're rolling over Troy. Yeah, it's a fair bet. <laughs> you know, Jason Tatum's been great. Uh, so moving on to the West here, we have Gonzaga. Got to go them, number one seed. I do not see, um, you know, South Dakota State beating them. Especially with that high-powered Ovens that Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Fantastic. They're not losing yeah, number success. number one. I mean, great. They were undefeated for a while. Northwestern Vanderbilt. Um, I'm giving the upset here to Vandy. Okay, that's what I went with too. I think Northwestern's obviously really happy they're there finally for the first time. But yeah, sorry Northwestern, you're really happy. Great celebration. Great school year, spirit. Maybe. Come back next year. Or 77 years later. Now course. Notre Dame Princeton. Got to go with Notre Dame. Princeton oh. played well, especially against Harvard in that Princeton's championship game. Shooters. But, but Notre Dame's got a lot of talent. Yeah, Notre Dame has a lot of talent, mm -hmm. and their converted center is uh, six foot five, but yes. he can shoot the ball. You know what? He, this, play, this he plays physical. And I mean, you saw in the ACC championship game, he did a lot with Emil Jefferson uh, and kind of gave him an issue down low. So he can handle it. Um, West Virginia, Buck, no. I mean, West Virginia's a fantastic team. Not the best team in the tournament, but over Bucknell, I got to go with uh, West Virginia. West Virginia moves on, baby. So, West Virginia. Now, Maryland, Xavier, you know, Maryland's tough matchup. Been Maryland's been inconsistent, Maybe yes, but Mellow Triple's going to come back. He's going to lead the team. We'll see. He's going to lead the team. He's got a great Go game. Going Maryland here. Okay, it's went, now or never for uh, Maryland. I want Xavier with this one. Maryland has been wildly Maryland's going to uh, – I feel like uh, they're going to be able to come back uh, and get in. And just, is a good player. They're getting in. They're going to win this game, but we'll see what happens after that. Now, FSU, Florida Gulf Coast. I'm going to go the upset here. Florida Dunk Ghost City's Coast. Back. <laughs> Dunk City is Dunk back. City's back. Dunk City is back. Dunk City is back. If you remember a couple years ago, they came in. Big run in Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. Dunk City is back. Florida Gulf Coast. You know what, though? I will say that FSU has some talent. Yeah. But it's also one other team that's been inconsistent. But as we know, Florida Gulf Coast have pulled off some big wins against some big-time opponents. Yeah. They're fun to watch. Lob City. Dunk City is back with Florida Gulf Coast. Moving on. Now, St. Mary's versus VCU. Got to go hometown Richmond, VCU. Oh. VCU just knows how to play in the tournament. V yeah, it doesn't matter exactly. where they're seated. You know they're no, showing up. No, they're, they're showing up and playing. They're least. great. Final one, Arizona, North Dakota, Arizona. Say no more. You know, big win over Oregon. Mm -hmm. Going to continue it into the tournament. So, first round there. Shooting it back to you for the second round. Who okay, do you have? Let's see. Uh, Kansas, Michigan State. Like I said, Tom Izzo knows what he's doing, but there's only so much he can do. Really? Know. Kansas looks like a much wow. better team. Look. Michigan State, they've been very inconsistent. They're a young team. I, I'd be mm. surprised. You think they're going to beat Kansas? I think I think if you're going to have an early round upset for Kansas, it's going to be Michigan State. Okay. Tom Izzo can get his guys ready to go against Kansas. That's fair. Once again, but. Iowa State, Purdue. This one I think is going to be one of the closest games of this round, but I think Iowa State just pulls away with it. they got the veteran leaders. They, you know, they've been doing this for a while. I think this is Iowa State's time to uh, make a little noise in the tournament. Sorry, Purdue. Uh, Oregon URI, this one was tough. I think Rhode Island's good. And Oregon's missing some key guys, but in the end, I think there's just a talent disparity that even with Oregon missing some of their key yeah, players. Yeah, I agree with that. Oregon's just too good this year. And then uh, Oklahoma State, Louisville, once again, I think Louisville, probably one of the best defenses in the nation. Oklahoma State, they're good, but they're just not on Louisville's level. So. Yeah, I can agree with that there. I mean, you know, we all seen what Louisville did a couple years ago. Uh, UNC, Seton Hall, once again, I mean, UNC's one of the most talented teams <laughs> in the tournament. Seton Hall's good, but... Do I see them beating UNC? No chance. As much as I want to, no. Uh, Mid-Tennessee Butler, I think. I feel like when we see these, like, 12, 13 upsets, you know, usually they win one game by two. The real tougher thing is then to win that second game. I don't see it happening here. Butler, you know, they know what they're doing. They're a good team. Well coached. Well coached. So here is where I'm going with the upset. It really? Me to say, really? It Since you over you, me to say, I love what's going to happen to what's going to happen to what's going to happen to Lonzo Ball? But, uh, the problem is, is mm. I always worry about teams that rely on hot shooting. You know, Which I think is, in the tournament, it's more, yeah, you're more going to have a cold spell. You know, it's just a different environment. Since he's a great defensive team that kind of struggles to score, UCLA is the opposite. I think since he holds UCLA to subpar shooting, and you, I, my problem is UCLA is just, they're not good defensive. No, they don't play defense at all. And, you know, I mean, I agree with that, but, like, I, I'm, surpri I'm surprised you're putting it there. I mean, I, I knew, uh, you know, UCLA is a great offensive I, I team. I think Cincy's also a bad matchup for them. That was the other yeah, reason. Their, their defense is definitely going to get them in trouble later in the tournament, yeah. but against and Cincy, I would, I was, I'm surprised. I wouldn't mind UCLA winning it all on. Like I said, I love them, but I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that's why you got to play defense. And then this one. Defense which wins State championships. Which is State's good. This is going to be a good game. I feel like I see this game in the tournament all the time. But I think Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, they get oh. it done in the end. 
I got him. Malik Monk's such a player, especially earlier in the year with that beautiful pass in the beginning of the year. Oh, Reach him back, stud. throw. Oh. UNC, 47 or so points. For, yeah, he's, I mean, he's a stud. Guys, guys he's a great player. All right, I guess we're moving back over to the East here. Going up Villanova, Wisconsin. Um, you know, I, Wisconsin does have the talent. They do have good players, but I feel like just Villanova oh, gotcha. has a little bit more. I see them going on. But they also have the veteran leaders. Yeah, they have the veteran they leaders. Have a lot of their they have the veteran leaders. They have the experience coming off the national championships. The defending champs move on. Now, UVA, Florida, great matchup. I really want to see this one. But, I, again, I think UVA does a lot, does a lot of you know, good things on defense, especially come tournament time. They've made a lot of runs deep. I see them moving on past That's Florida. That's exactly how I feel. I feel Florida overachieved this year. Yep. UVA kind of overachieved. I think it bounced out in the top. Exactly. UVA, now, so. SMU, Baylor, upset here. SMU over I, Baylor. That's what I was thinking. They, I mean, at, me okay, the 60 at SMU, I don't think that's fair. No. They're a great team, very underrated. Uh, look for them to really uh, shock shock the world, so to speak. Going back to Michigan, Fat mm -hmm. Five, shock the world and uh, in this tournament. Too. They are not exactly, the no. They started as. South Carolina Duke. Um, Got to go with uh, the Duke Blue Devils. You know, Luke Kennard is, uh, you know, the most talented the, mo the most talented very team, especially, fun. well, especially because coming off the ACC tournament, mm -hmm. this is a, a – you know, a team that you haven't really seen yet. No mm -hmm. one's really seen this healthy Duke team, which is a. I think they're getting back to where they were at the beginning of the year. Harry Giles, especially. Hey, yeah, anything from him. Gonzaga Vanderbilt. I want to see this matchup. It's gonna be great. But I have Gonzaga moving on. Their offense is just too great for Vanderbilt mm -hmm. to uh, handle. Um, I would agree with you. Good talent, big man. It's Gonzaga a great team. A they Gonzaga need, needs a deep run. Like, they, they always like, like they'll, they'll be like, like get in the there and then yeah, they, they were drop it. Joking, so this is, I think, the year they need to make a Final Four. Yeah, I think this is the year they will make the Final Four. Uh, now, Notre Dame, West Virginia, I have the upset here. I'm going uh, Notre Dame just because West Virginia is not the best tournament team. They have not had mm -hmm. that great of experience come tournament time. Yeah, I feel I like West Virginia, but I will admit the press sometimes. You know? Yeah, the press is going to get them in trouble. It's just it's a high variance strategy, and that's not. Notre Dame's able to move the ball. We saw uh, a game against Duke when Duke tried to press at the end, you know, or started to press at the end. Notre Dame was easily able to break it, get dunks, layups, fouls, and I think, ones. I think West Virginia's going to win that one, but I can see how Notre Dame's advantage. I, team that can I feel like, press, yeah, so that'll be good. Maryland, Florida Gulf Coast. I want the run to continue. Florida Gulf Coast, going on, making and another historic run. Not be the first time, like you said. Maryland not the first time, and Maryland is extremely inconsistent. Their talent is going to win. Uh, now, Arizona VCU. I thought about maybe giving an upset, but in the end of the day, I feel like Arizona's, Arizona's defense is going to be team. a very solid team. Okay. They're coming in. Arizona's moving on. VCU has been known to surprise before, but yeah, I would yeah. give you on this one. I Arizona. Moving on. Okay. Sweet 16. <clears throat> going back up here. Sweet 16. Again. Kansas, Iowa State, like I've said, you know, been saying for both these teams, both very talented, but I'm a big fan of Kansas. They've got some players. They got mm. Josh Jackson, who I like a lot. They got Frank Mason, contender for player. Senior year. Yeah. This is, they have to do something. This, Frank Jackson. This is his last yeah. year. He's going to be playing here. You know, he's not going home early. No. Uh, Oregon, Louisville. <clears throat> for me, this one's easy. Oregon's not really, you know, as I mentioned a few times, they're not at full strength. They kind of lucked out playing a few, you know, lesser talented teams, but uh, that luck ends now. Louisville's defense shuts them down. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, Louisville's, like, somewhat inconsistent. You see them, like, they're, you know, they're, 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 they've been up and down. I think they're um, the best, you know. They're, they're tough yeah. to beat. And I just, like I said, I just don't, I'm not a huge fan of Oregon. For me, they especially kind of with the, Especially far. with the injuries. Yeah, just because of who they've been playing. But I think against a really good team like Louisville, yeah. you know, it ends there. UNC Butler, I think it'll be a good game. But I think UNC's got no. a ton of talent. I mean, they... They, yeah, they know what they're doing. They're coming off. Of they know what they're doing, they're but but we all know what Butler is capable of, and especially Butler beating uh, Villanova twice this year. Mm -hmm. You can't overlook them. I see Butler actually pulling you, the upset in this ooh. one okay. uh, over UNC. Butler has some talent, no doubt. They're well coached. You know, they've been in the tournament a lot, but I just think UNC is another level above them. You know, the way they're playing right now is Justin Jackson's hitting the threes. Yeah. It's I think they're a good team. Uh, Cincy, Kentucky. Once again, not not too many upsets in this this part of the bracket, no. but uh, you know Kentucky's got the super frosh. Yeah. Since they played well against UCLA, but Kentucky can actually defend and get out and run the break. I yeah. think they're gonna put up points early, and since he's not gonna be able to catch up. All right. Well, you mentioned no upsets. I'm bringing in the upset: UVA over Villanova. Ooh. Villanova struggled against teams with good defense this year, as you know. I previously mentioned their losses to Butler. We all know UVA has a good defense. I see them shutting down, uh, you know, Villanova and what they bring. Defending champs will not be back. Uh, SMU Duke. I feel like Duke's just hot run is going to carry them through this. It's going to be a close game. I'm predicting a comeback win for Duke. 
um, come yeah, from behind in ahead. the second yeah, half. Yeah, Duke has definitely been one I'm of the best I'm giving Duke oh. going in there. So we got Duke, UVA, moving on. Now, Gonzaga, Notre Dame, I want to see this, but I also want to see Gonzaga move on. You know, Notre Dame's a good team, but I feel like they just don't have the talent to keep up it's with the Gonzaga. Like it's, it's a tough draw for Notre Dame, you know, if they get this far having to face Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, if they do, they will fall. So Gonzaga moves on. Now, Florida Gulf Coast versus Arizona. This is where the luck runs out. Arizona's just a much better yeah. overall team. Florida Gulf Coast can get hot. They can get cold. They're going to be cold against Arizona, and Arizona's going to move on. Okay, so moving back to me, once again, Kansas-Louisville, I think this is going to be a really good game, but like you said, at times Louisville can be a little inconsistent. You know, Kansas got the players. I think they uh, they punched their ticket to the Final Four. Bill Self knows what he's doing. And then... No, <laughs> the big this, matchup. This is the big matchup. UNC Kentucky. Malik Monk, round two, baby. Kentucky moves on. All right. That's, gonna be, that's just going to be... That, that is the game. If I get to see that, maybe UCLA, Kentucky. But that's, I just, think that's just going to be a good game. We, we saw what happened last time. OT. I, it's going to be epic. Monk with 40-plus points. I mean, this is going to be mm – -hmm. that is a must-watch game if it does oh, yeah. occur, which hopefully it does because mm -hmm. I would love to see it. Moving over. We know UVA struggles against Duke. And I feel like the struggles are going to continue. Duke's got a lot of talent. Duke has a lot of talent. They're hot. They're now healthy. Coach K, Coach K is taking his team back to the Coach Final Four. He knows, what he's, doing, he knows yeah. what he's doing, especially, you know. Mid-season slump doesn't Emil, affect Emil Jefferson's healthy. Mm -hmm. Grayson Coach. Allen, think what you want. He's, he's, he, he, he's coming off the bench, dropping 18. Mm -hmm. He's going to be Luke big. So and Luke Kennard can score at will. Gonzaga, Arizona. That's where Arizona goes. Bye-bye. I'm going with Gonzaga. Gonzaga. I'm okay. going the number one. This is the year they break the we're not a tournament yep. of a team. I Gonzaga's like moving on into the Final Four versus Duke. So Kansas, Kentucky, Gonzaga. Not yeah, too bad. That's a pretty good uh, matchup for a Final Four. For this matchup, I think I'm a little biased. I'm a big NBA guy. I like the <laughs> NBA players. And obviously, I've always been a fan of Kentucky for that reason. But I'm a big, big fan of De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. Uh, Kansas has got the guys. You know, Frank Mason is a little been there old before. versus young. Kansas, I guess, also has Josh Jackson. So this is going to be a good matchup. But in the end, I think the uh, – We've the already seen this crossed. earlier this year, though, this matchup. Things change. Things change. Kentucky, baby. They're making wow. it to the championship game. Kentucky's back. Back. They've always been good. <laughs> They've been good, but they're back. All right. Interesting matchup here. Duke versus Gonzaga. It's where the Duke Duke luck runs out. Oh. Okay. I feel like Gonzaga's just gonna have more experience. Mm -hmm. Just more uh, gut, more will than the Duke Blue Devils. This is old versus young. And I no feel old versus young. I'm feeling the old's gonna uh, come out here. I don't know. This team kind of reminds me of that uh, they, the local four Tyus yeah, they, they, versus Winslow Duke team. You they, know, yeah, you know, they came, they they came together. Then they were able to beat Gonzaga in that tournament to advance. But I feel like Gonzaga is going to come back, get revenge, and knock the Blue Duke Blue Devils out. Send them home. Gonzaga is moving on in the championship game against Kentucky. Okay, and then uh, who do you got for the champion here? Well, obviously, like we already said, old versus young. You got the NBA versus some veterans. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. It's definitely going to be an interesting game. I mean, I'd like to see Gonzaga win because, you know, it's about that time that they finally came mm -hmm. into the forefront. It would be just of, like Villanova last year. Yeah, it'd just be like Villanova last year, but I mm -hmm. do not think that's going to happen. I'm going to have to go with Kentucky in this matchup. Right. I feel like I Malik Monk just is too much to handle. He can do too much he, between passing, shooting, driving. Kentucky's defense is, is long. Like They're guard, fast. Guards tend to win in the tournament. Guards yep. are easier, is able to get hot, and Kentucky's got three fantastic ones. You got the Aaron Fox, Malik Monk, like we mentioned. You also have Isaiah Briscoe, who we haven't talked as much about. They have, you know, they got the big man too, Bam. You know, so yeah. they can play They're, big. They have those guards. They play they fast. fast. I think Gonzaga's. They did run get to make it this far. You know, they have a good team. It's certainly possible they beat Kentucky, but I feel I like it's think Kentucky. In the end, it's Kentucky's year. What do you have as a score? What are you thinking, Gonzaga versus Kentucky? I'm going to say, ooh, I think. I mean, we know Kentucky can put up points. I'm going to go 78. You're going to go 78? 73. Really? All right. Well, we're going to do a little prediction here, see who's right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going that close. I'm going, given Kentucky, we're giving 82 okay. on uh, uh, 70. Wow. So you need to go on, go on, not, not really a blowout, but like. 
It's gonna oh, be okay. it's gonna be close okay. coming down fourth quarter or second, coming down you know second half of the second half you know last final two minutes. You know Malik Monk's gonna get hot from behind the arc and just put the game away. Fouls gonna we'll give see. them give Kentucky more points. But one thing we agree on. I'm excited for March Madness. I'm excited. I'm ready. It's here. Favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good one. So that's what we have for Bracketology. Be sure to check out the tournament and see how we did. Until next time, I'm Evan Piercy. I'm Don Vernazza. And whose side are you on?